in this video series, we're going to focus on the tree map chart plugin. And you can see here that this is a nice tree map, but of course, we're going to go deeper in it and we'll create something based on this specific plugin, which is also a description in here and creating something similar to this. So let's start to look how to create a tree map chart in ChartJS with the tree map plugin. So the first thing what we're going to do here is to get our default code, which you can find in chartjs3.com, getting started. Scroll down here. And by the way, this link you can also find in the description box. And copy this entire chunk of code here. If you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video that explains it. So I'm going to paste that all in here. And once I did that, I will cut out the tree map here, or this title of tree map, and put it in there. Save that, refresh. There we are. So now we have a basic bar chart. But of course, we need to add up now the tree map plugin. So for that, you have to go basically to the, uh, you can search it in jsdeliver.com. And here for some reason, it, uh, it doesn't want to load here for me. Anyway, once you're on there, you will find that and you will find the, make sure you search for the tree map chart or chart yes dash chart dash tree map plugin. And you'll find this specific link here that you will get. So I would say copy this link here. We're going to start working on that. Once I copy that, what I will do is I need to add up that link here in a script. So I'm going to copy this script tag here, paste it in there, and then I'm going to cut out this and put it in here. What is very important is that chart.js library needs to load first before the chart.js chart tree map plugin. And I'm calling it a plugin, but officially it's not really a plugin, it's a plugin. It's more like an add-on. And the reason why is it shows you a chart, which would mean it adds on a chart type. Well, normally with a plugin, for example, data labels, they will see you will see your chart js dash plugin and then the data labels or any type of plugin name. So this is more a chart type as an add-on. So now we have this. If I save this, of course nothing happens yet. Why? We didn't specify the item itself. So that's what we're going to do now. Basically what I want to do, and you can find also more information here on the uh, chart.js uh, pages of tree map pages, although the description of this is not that very clear. So that's why we're covering this. So what we need to do is, first of all, we're going to remove these labels here. We don't have this because it is not anymore an X and Y scale. Next, what I want to change is I want to say this will be a tree map. And as I said, because it doesn't have any X and Y scale, the scales in the options can be removed as well. These are all redundant and no, not needed anymore. Next, what I want to do is I want to remove all of this. There we are. I remove that one as well. And let's say here, this is our tree map chart. If I save this now and refresh, you can see here now, it is nicely responding. Of course, it still has not the proper design and the Hoover background, but it doesn't matter. That's not really the focus right now. However, eventually what we want to do is we want to have these values here converted into a proper color, or more specifically, the bigger the value or the higher the value, the darker the color. So in the next video, I'm going to focus on the color. 